My name is Suzanne Obetz and I'm here at the Brentsville District Courthouse, the historic part of Prince William County that everyone seems to overlook. We are about 25 miles southwest of Washington, D.C. And this is an area of Prince William County that people drive by every day and they never stop and wonder what goes on here. The Manassas Battlefield, the Battle at Bull Run, a huge battle during the Civil War. It's about 10 miles up the road. There are historic sites all over this county. But this is the one that is so interesting that everyone needs to stop looking. This is the principal courthouse. This has been restored. It's an amazing property. It was a, a foundation that was put together to restore this courthouse. They did an amazing job. Over here we have the site where, in the middle of those trees, is where the tavern used to be. A tavern, everyone thinks it's an old bar. Probably a lot of drinking went on. However, it was a hotel. jail where if you if you owed someone money a dollar if you stole money if you cheated on your wife that was a very good idea this is where you went back here in this open field is where they had the gallows notice you don't see any trees you don't see a gallow that was built it was portable they would put it up and take it down every time they needed it they only hung seven people in that field over the 20 years that it was up and running. They didn't like to kill people. That's a good thing. However, if you were a runaway slave, you could just about bet that if you were convicted in this court, which you would be, you were going to the gallows. But first you would spend some time in here. Now this is the jail, and a lot of part was where they would eat, where they would, where the jailer would stay, and things like that. Now up here, show Ghost Hunters on another channel and they were looking for ghosts. There have been a lot of sightings because several people died in this jail. Uh, one man hung himself because his wife had cheated on him so he killed the man that his wife was cheating with. He was so distraught after he was in jail he killed himself upstairs. They say he's still here. Watch your step. Now this is this is the original wall. This was a, a dorm because the courthouse was used as a girls dormitory after it was a courthouse so they made this a dorm room. So they put plaster up, they did all this stuff. Well we're taking all that away and this brick is the original brick. Now back here would have been where they would do the cooking and everything. Um, watch your step, this is very dangerous. It was also a residence, and you can see how they used to, to build these houses. It was amazing. They used 
whatever scrap wood they could find, but they would build these houses so well, that's why they're still standing today. Now, I'm not going to go upstairs because I'm not in the mood to deal with ghosts today, but upstairs is where they would have the, the, the prisoners go. Hardcore prisoners over here with the bars on the window, the small windows, bigger windows over here for the people who just couldn't pay their bills. Now, this was also turned into a home. That's why you see the pretty wallpaper and things like that. Um, down here is where the jailers would stay. The jailer would stay over here. There's a fireplace in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's an absolute beautiful room. There's an archway with the stone, and it, it's just an amazing building. If we can get the funding to get this back up and running, then we can have visitors come in. They can see the real history of this wonderful area. So thank you very much for letting me talk to you about the Brentsville County Jail. It used to be a long time ago. Brentsville wasn't even made into a, a city until 1820, and this was only used as a jail for 50 years. So. A lot of history here. Wish I could tell you more about it, but thank you very much for listening.